Hello everybody and welcome back to Lingui. Today we are in the Spanish Illustrated series and we are going to be talking about masculine and feminine words in Spanish. This is Unidad Uno Lección E. Let's go ahead and see some of the rules and some of the many exceptions in order to determine if a word is masculine or feminine. Now in English we don't really have masculine and feminine. If you're Speaking Spanish, you can understand that words like niño or hombre would be masculine because they mean boy and man, and words like niña and mujer would be feminine because they mean girl and woman. But some words that don't have gender in English have to have a gender in Spanish. Words like water, dog, and tree. So we're going to talk about a few of the rules that can help you determine what it is, masculine or feminine, and if you need to use an L or LA in order to describe it. Let's go ahead and see the first rule, a masculine rule. Now this is generally a characteristic of Spanish. If it ends in O, it's masculine. So a few examples are El Sombrero, El Libro, and El Huevo. However, it's not always true. Some people just assume that if it ends in O, it is masculine. However, some words do not, such as la radio and la moto. Now, la moto is actually a shortened form of one that ends in A. Let's look at another rule. This rule says if it ends in an L, it's probably masculine. A few examples are el papel, el arbol, y el animal. However, there are a few exceptions. La sal and la piel are both feminine. That would be salt and skin. So as you can see, there's no way to really tell whether it's masculine or feminine by just knowing the word and associating it with either feminine or masculine. When you learn a new word, you need to memorize whether it's masculine or feminine. Let's look at another rule. This rule says if it ends in an R, it's probably masculine. Some examples of the many are amor, color, y valor. However, not all of them do. La flor, or the flower, as in the plant, is feminine. Another rule is if it ends in an N, then it's masculine. Examples include El Pon, El Train, and El Corazon. However, La Sartin and La Cancion are exceptions. Moving on, we have the rule that says if it ends in an S, it's probably masculine. Some examples are El Mes and el país. However, words like la tos are feminine. Now let's get on to the feminine rules. This one is the general one. If it ends in an A, it's probably feminine. This actually comes from Latin. La boca and la casa both end in A, so they are feminine. El agua also ends in A, and it is feminine. But wait, you're probably thinking, why does it have L in front? Well, sometimes if it's a feminine word, it begins in an A or an HA, they use L instead of LA because LA AGUA, you are prolonging the A because there's an A at the end of LA and there's an A at the beginning of AGUA. So they switch it up just for the L. However, if you had more than one water, it would be LAS AGUAS. However, of course, there are exceptions like EL MAPA and EL DIA. Another feminine rule is if it ends in D, it's probably feminine. La ciudad, la felicidad, and la salud all are feminine. However, el césped, or the lawn, the grass, is masculine. And for our final rule, we have if it ends in Z, it's probably feminine. La paz and la luz are both examples. Now it's time to talk about one that you're never really quite sure of. If it ends in an E, it might be masculine or feminine. More are times than not, it is masculine. However, it's pretty equal on both sides. 
So if you encounter a word that has an E at the end, you need to notice what gender it is and memorize that gender. But that's it today. Today we reviewed a few rules or generalizations that you can use in order to determine if a word is masculine or feminine. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Remember, di coraggio sprache es orvir o porta. This has been Spanish Illustrated Unidad Uno Lección E. Masculine and Feminine.